We are at Kannaginagar, the art district in Chennai. The idea of creating an art district in Kannaginagar came about pre-pandemic in 2020. Supported by Chennai Corporation and Tamil Nadu Urban Habitat Development Board and in association with Asian Paints, a non-profit organization painted the walls of Kannaginagar. We find that behind these colors hides Kanaginagar's dark side. After the devastating December 2004 tsunami, when thousands of people from various slums were shifted to Kanaginagar, they hoped for a better life. 17 years on, the quality of life of more than 1 lakh people in 23,704 houses in the resettlement colony of the IT corridor is, if anything, worse. I met a group of men living in the three-story building. They said that the metro water supply is regular but the building lacked inbuilt tank facilities and they have to hand pump water every alternative day. The buildings were in bad condition and a small amount of rain could have resulted in water leakage inside the house. They wanted the amount spent on painting to be spent on repairing buildings, fixing motors and setting up overhead tanks. Despite the dark side, this place has a lot of potential, I feel. For example, I met this woman who tells me about this basin that was constructed during COVID so that people could come and wash their hands. Put off that big tank is here, everyone go to hand wash. This okay, okay, so this was done to... during Corona time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. after that people is not maintained, this is to remove the tank, that's it. I asked another local resident if the artwork in Kannaginagar had solved any of their problems. Only after the size of many people's outside work, they came to this area and they are, you know, they came to know about this particular slum area. Only because of those artworks. It's like many people are coming and but these people are not getting any benefit because of those artworks. It's, it's, it's uh, fact only. Huh? These people, this area, in this particular area, some area, some area people, yes. they won't get any benefit because of those hard work Four people have died across Tamil Nadu after Cyclone Manders made landfall late Friday night, crossing the coast with a wind speed of 75 km an hour. The cyclone has now weakened into a deep depression. It has damaged the coastal areas, waterlogged many areas of the Chennai city, leaving daily services disrupted. Kannaginagar is no exception from this. But what the cyclone could not steal from this place is the spirit of the people here. <laughs> Kamakodakira Sami, Kaila Kati Yirko, Misa Sikti Yirko, Pilianet Yirko, Ovamapi Yirko, Adawam Padawam, Pandawam.